Hannah Rogers. I'm the curator of the Bernice Abbott exhibit, the Frillin Museum of Art, the University of Virginia. Bernice Abbott's photography is a wonderful way to demonstrate to the public the connections between the history of science and the history of art. Because she's already such a large figure in the art world, people in the science world don't entirely know how to take her. In her science manifesto, which is actually a letter to a scientist friend, um, she explains in a lot of detail that she thinks there needs to be a new branch of science photography and that that branch will provide the right kind of images for scientific pedagogy and for learning things in science. She creates the super sight camera. So this is an inverted camera obscura where it's a direct photography process. So she's printing something relatively small and relatively large film. Later she calls the camera she invented a ridiculous shed, but at the time when she invents it, she considers really seriously commercializing it. This is pretty unique to have, first of all, a woman inventor, but Secondly, someone who tries to bring the product to market herself. Through her Science Illustrated connection, she eventually gets a placement at MIT where she spends what she describes as being the happiest years of her life, interacting with scientists and participating in group science work. The Physical Science Study Committee was convened by the National Science Foundation. They put together um, a textbook which is meant to be used in American high schools called Physics. And this textbook is illustrated with Bernice Abbott's photographs that are made at her own lab there at MIT. A lot of her images require a number of people to work on them. It's not as if she could just go in the dark room by herself and create these images. She's very interested in all of the action happening in front of the camera and not once you've reached the dark room. And this is how she defines realism. Some people have a look at the documentary photos and think that they're quite different from what she's doing in the scientific photos. But actually she, she had identified the power of her time in both cases. We hope people come away from this exhibit with a sense of how Bernice Abbott's life brings together history of science and the history of art.